So good evening. Good evening and welcome to worship. We are especially delighted for guests. There are many, many guests. I was standing back in the back, about half of you I don't even recognize. And we're really glad that you're here. And there is a certain kind of service that's very quiet and holy, candlelights and communion. That would be at 10 o'clock tonight. And then there's this service. Uh, I always say about the early service on Christmas Eve, this is what we call sacred pandemonium. Uh, so there's a lot of noise, a lot of energy, and we celebrate that. And that's the sound of Christmas and the wonderful gifts of children who are here tonight that I'm so glad you have brought them out that we can celebrate the birth of the one who came to be our very Savior and Lord. So there you go. So that's the sound of Christmas. And so we just celebrate that and we affirm it. And we're just glad that you're here for this very holy time. We do want you to know that tomorrow we are honoring Christ on his birthday by worshiping here at 11 o'clock. And we would love if you don't have a church family to go to and to celebrate on that holy day, we would love for you to come for a very special worship service we'll have at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning as well. So let us worship the new Lord King. Let us begin, if we will, with a word of prayer. And so gracious God, who has given us the perfect gift, the gift of a Savior in Jesus Christ, our Lord, we come here tonight on this holy night to celebrate. We celebrate the birth of one who came to live for us and die for us and be raised again that we might have life and have life full and have life eternal. We thank you for every child and every grown up child that's in this room right now. And may the holiness of this evening and just the energy and just the fullness that this hour is about so capture us that we too will join with those shepherds and those angels of old, that we too will know that this is our Savior, Christ the Lord. And so we celebrate his birth. We celebrate all that his birth means to us. And so fill us now as we continue in worship. In your name we pray. Amen. Christmas in lands of the fir tree and pine. Christmas in lands of the palm tree and vine. Christmas where snow peaks stand solemn and white. Christmas where cornfields lie sunny and bright. Everywhere, 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 Christmas tonight. Christmas in hearts of the young and the old. Christmas in hearts of the meek and the bold. Christmas where children are filled with delight. Christmas wherever the wrong is made right. Everywhere, 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 Christmas tonight. Come celebrate Christmas. and solemn and white Christmas where cornfields lie sunny and bright everywhere 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 Christmas everywhere Christmas tonight everywhere Christmas tonight everywhere Christmas tonight Let us stand as we 
As we continue in worship, we make the final steps of our Advent journey. Each Sunday of Advent, we have lit a candle of hope and joy, then peace and then love. And tonight we light the Christ candle. The left family comes to lead us in that. I invite you to find uh, in your bulletins, if you can, the chorus that we will sing together in just a moment. Lift up your eyes and the responsive reading that immediately follows after that. I'll sing the first part and then invite you to join. Let us join now in the lighting of the Christ candle. who has walked in darkness, a new light has dawned. For anyone who has ever felt forgotten, a new light has dawned. For anyone whose patience has been put to the test, a new light has dawned. For anyone in search of the way, the truth, and the life, a new day has dawned. Tonight, we light all the candles as we open our eyes to the glory of Christ's birth. As we light the first candle, we celebrate the hope that transcends our hurting world. As we light the second candle, we celebrate the joy that can dry every tear. The fourth candle celebrates the love that covers our guild. The flame of the Christ candle opens our eyes to God's everlasting light as we celebrate and worship Christ, our newborn King.
Lord Jesus, tonight we join the angelic choir proclaiming glory to God in the highest. In a world where people seek the perfect gift to love, to give, we rejoice because you've already given it. As you lit up the sky that first Christmas, continue to illuminate our world with your presence. We pray on this Christmas Eve that you will guide our every step, hear our every prayer, and delight in every praise as we come and worship you, O Christ, our newborn King. Amen. That was amazing. Thank you for sharing your special gifts with us. And now we um, ask in this joyous, for this joyous occasion and in this room that you bring your hearts and minds together as our children retell the Christmas story. The reason we are here is because of the birth of our Savior, Jesus. Join our children as they read from the book of Luke and they share their personal Christmas story with you. In the sixth month after Elizabeth had become pregnant, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He went to see a girl named Mary. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. He came from the family land of David. The angel greeted her and said, 
The Lord has given you a special favor. The Lord is with you. Mary was very upset because of his words. She wondered what kind of greeting this could be, but the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king like his father David of long ago. He will rule up forever over his people who came from Jacob's family. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked, How can this be? I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth is old, and even she is going to have a child, although people thought she could not have children. Remember that nothing is impossible with God. I serve the Lord, Mary answered. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left her. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a census be made of everyone in the Roman world. All the people went to their hometowns to be counted. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah to Bethlehem, the town of David. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went with, there with Mary to be registered. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the baby to be born. It was a boy. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. There were angels living out in the field. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were looking at, after their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were very afraid. 
But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. It's for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Here is how you will know I'm telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God and saying, May, may glory be given, given to God, God in the highest heaven. And may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. After the shepherds had seen Jesus, they told everyone. They reported what the angel has said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned and gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as they had been told. was born in Bethlehem in Judah. This happened while Herod was king of Judah. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the child who has been born to be the king of Jews? When we were in the east, we saw his star. Now we have come to worship him. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when they were in the east went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshiped him. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Boys and girls, I want everyone's eyes on me. 
every one of you. This, this is why we celebrate Christmas. Okay, let's not cover baby Jesus with straw. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> that was, this is why we celebrate Christmas. God loves you and he gave you the most precious gift. What gift did he give you? Jesus. Boys and girls, thank you for sharing your Christmas Eve with us. And thank you. You take this story and you put it in your heart. And you remember that no matter where you are, how young you are, or how old you are, you belong to God. And that is something that no one, that's the best gift of all, and no one can take that away from you. And now, these children know the true meaning of Christmas, and they know all about giving. And tonight, we have a special offering. During the singing of Silent Night, the children of all ages, young and old, you are asked to come forward, and there will be bins with red ribbon around them right up here, and the children of all ages will place canned goods in those bins. These canned goods will go to um, Tri Area Ministries Food Pantry to help others who have no food in their house. So boys and girls, you can go and get your canned foods now, and when the church start, when the congregation starts singing Silent Night, you can bring your canned goods. So put the straw back, put the straw back, and go back to mommy and get your canned goods. The hymn is 134. I invite you to stand as we sing together 134. bow for the benediction. Christ before you, Christ behind you, Christ within you, grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy, love all love, Jesus Christ, born to save, born to live, born to give us every good and perfect gift from above. May the gifts of Christmas so fill every soul here tonight. Happy birthday, Jesus. His name we pray. Amen.